Hey, what's going on YouTube? Rob here from Cars and Tech by JDM City. And today we're taking a look at a new product, the Tron Smart Qualcomm Quick Charger for your car. Most people, including myself, never seem to be able to find a really good car charger. And that's because they are all usually built very cheaply and they don't have a nice output. Well, this one is Qualcomm 2.0 certified and it seems to meet my needs. Let's take a look in the box. On top, we're presented with a quick start guide and user manual. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. Underneath, we see the charger. It has all the voltage information on the sides. We'll uh, do a quick comparison with that and the specs of other turbochargers. On the front, we see it's uh, branded with uh, the Qualcomm 2.0 certification for quick charging. On the bottom is the quick charger USB and the top is a 2.4 amp USB. It should be able to charge any device with ease. Um, on the left side, if we open the flap, we have a USB cable. It's hard to see in the frame, but it seems like this USB is around three feet. It feels like a quality cable though. It's, uh, it's nice and thick, and we all know that thicker cables always end up being the better ones. Let's do a comparison of voltages across this charger and the other wall chargers. The Transmart car charger clocks in at 2 amps across 5 and 9 volt and 1.5 amp across 12 volt. The Motorola Turbo Charger for the Nexus 6 and some other of their devices clock in at 0.4 amps less across the 5 and 9 volt rails and 1.2 amps at 12 volts. The Samsung Adaptive Fast Charger that comes with the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge um, clocks in at the same 2 amps that the car charger has. Lower 1.67 amp across the 9 volt and a lower 1.2 amp across the 12 volt. Well, what does this mean? This means that since the Qualcomm quick charging standard works across all these phones, the car adapter will meet or exceed the charging rate that you would get from the included wall adapter for all of those phones. After using this charger for about two weeks in my car, I can definitely recommend it to anyone. I never get my phone really low in battery, but around 40 or so percent when I usually charge it up in the car. I'll go up to around 72 in about 15 to 20 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been a quick look at the Qualcomm Quick Charger 2.0 for the car. I'll put uh, links down in the description if you want to check it out, if you want to pick one up, and I'll see you on the next one.